everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have a little bit of a different setup i am trying to change up my setup a little bit more so if the next video that i upload is a completely different setup that's what we're doing here at the moment also i'm on a creaky chair so you can hear me creaking that is that okay so we have who will you marry today and we also have a little magic cauldron with some letters and things like that and we're also going to listen to astrology to uh, into this video today so we have the lovely cards out here we have group number one with the clear quartz Grid number two, rose quartz. Grid number three, amethyst. And grid number four with blue goldstone. So let's get started. Please choose your group and let's see who you're going to be marrying. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the lovely clear quartz. I love this crystal. I just want to show you guys this crystal because it's got some really gorgeous elements in it. You can see it's got all that loveliness in it. I just wanted to show you guys. You know me, I'm the crystal girl, so we've got to look into the crystal. So let's have a look and start off with the astrology of this person that you're going to be marrying. And let's see who it is. So we have Libra, the idealist, and 10th house, reputation, okay? So this is going to be somebody who possibly is a Libra, sun, rising, moon, mercury. You know, they'll have Libra very significantly in their chart, but could be very much their star sign, okay? So in a sense that because this is Libra and the 10th house, this is all about somebody who likes to be seen as someone who is, has got a high reputation, you know, there's somebody who likes to be seen as someone who is very put together, somebody who's very accomplished, somebody who has a very strong career. So when you meet this person, I do feel like they're going to be like a powerful person, you know, they may not be a Libra as such, but they're going to be a very powerful person, you know, they're almost going to be like kind of in between a devil and an angel sort of thing. They kind of going to probably look like an angel but they're going to be almost a devil like kind of kinky you know um and we also have the um like a wing here as well so it's almost like they're going to be like very very put together but they're almost going to be almost like a little bit devilish okay so this is going to be somebody who is very career orientated they're going to be somebody who really looks into their career going to be somebody who is a authority figure of some sort they could be your boss when you meet them they you could be like their supervisor or you could be their boss and they could be your like supervisor i don't know who which one goes first you know probably supervisor is on top of boss but wherever i feel like both of you can be very empowered they're going to be somebody who you are going to possibly be going to business with you know and climbing the ladder you know you're going to be Possibly going to meet them through a career of something on stage as well. Going to be to do with something to do with like acting, singing on stage, or possibly even a film, filming, so possibly even a, a YouTuber, that sort of thing, okay? So those are the main energies. We're going to plop those up there. Both me, this is the first time I've done this sort of setup, so we're seeing how it goes. So let's see what else we have. We have health, watch your words, kindness, and we also have, let's see this one leadership yeah exactly as i said they're going to be somebody who is a very strong leader they're going to be somebody who leads with strength and they love to be kind of the top dog sort of thing um we also have clarity courage and then from the tarot we have the sun and the king of cups so they could easily be also a leo or a cancerian or scorpio pisces okay so also I see that this person is going to be someone who is going to make you feel like you have so much clarity, okay? They're going to be somebody who makes you feel like really, really comfortable, really, really, like you just feel so comfortable with this person and you're going to feel like courageous when you meet this person. You're going to be like, do you know what? I feel my whole self with this person. I don't feel like anything is missing when we're together, that sort of thing, okay? So with this health card, I do see you may even meet this person through health related situations. I don't see it being anything bad, but my throat is hurting. So it could be something to do with your throat in terms of health. You could even meet them at a dentist, you know, <laughs> so random, but you could actually meet them at the dentist. Um, what else am I feeling? I feel like it could have gone on, if you've gone on like a really, like a really intense health journey, like you could have really bad health, something like that. I feel like you're both are going to relate to that on the same page. Okay, you're both going to have the same thing as you grew up you know you could even grow up um, could have even grew up in the same town okay so with watch your words and kindness there's somebody who is very very strong with their words there's somebody who's very intelligent there's somebody who's possibly even studied english lang and lit you know somebody who's studied their own language or has studied english particularly because they love like words they love poetry scripts stories that sort of thing they love books that sort of thing so definitely a leader could even be an aries here as well 
and they're going to be somebody who is very very kind you know you're going to feel very comfortable with them they're, they're very sweet they're very loving that sort of thing okay i really love this king of cups energy this is somebody who's very established and they're going to make you feel so freaking happy like the fact that we have the sun here with clarity is just so gorgeous it's like ultimate clarity so with this king of cups and courage it's making me feel like it's, you're not gonna be kind of in on the back burner when it comes to conversations it's going to be really really good everything is going to flow immediately in terms of conversation you're going to really really flow with conversation and it's going to be really really comfortable and there's not going to be any kind of like oh yeah treading on eggshells sort of thing with this person you're going to feel really really comfortable with them this card just makes me feel so comfortable that's almost like a marriage material ideal person you know somebody who's marriage material someone who is very very comfortable and nurturing and especially with this being the king of cups is really really nice especially for those of you who are looking for a male in particular this is making me feel like that somebody um is just going to be very mature you know especially being that male energy also also if you're looking for like if you're not if you're looking for a female it doesn't really matter it's just somebody who is very comfortable but especially for those who are looking for a male in particular or a masculine energy they're going to be very mature and they're going to understand how to cope with feminine and masculine energies and how to balance them both together right okay so let's have a look and see what sort of synchron what sort of, sort of signs and symbols you're going to see when you meet this person so we're going to have a look and see what number is really really coming out for you so let's see what number coming out for you see what number to look out for number five okay so number five is going to be the number for you guys to look out for and then we're also going to have a look into the uh houses and see what is coming up for you guys and see what, what sort of thing we can see okay gorgeous we have the sun in taurus with the 12th house so because the 12th house is all about the unseen realm it's all about physical um, things that aren't physical forms like dreams, secrets and emotions. Because it's in the house of Taurus, it's going to be a relationship that's... You're going to be very psychic. I feel like both of you are going to be very psychic, but it's also going to be like a really grounded relationship. It's going to be almost like you're both like witches. <laughs> I rightly have the little witches cauldron. You're both like witches, you know, whatever you kind of feel that is. But you're going to look so normal, you know, you're going to look like just two normal human beings, you know. And obviously not everyone who is spiritual looks like a spiritual person, you know. But for you guys, it's almost going to be like you're going to have these hidden little things that you love doing together. And it feels very almost like sexual and intimate. So I really, really like that. Um, and it just feels really, really comfortable and grounded and very intimate, very sexual. And Taurus is all about kind of luxuries. They love their senses. They love touching and feeling, that sort of thing. So it's definitely going to be a very almost private relationship could be as well. You, not, I don't think you're the sort of person who would like stamp your relationship everywhere. Um, but this person I feel like is quite quite private you know but it's very very sexy okay so we're going to have a look into the cauldron now and we're going to see what kind of letters we have coming up so let's see what letters we have okay we have n c and x so that could be any of the letters i definitely feel like it could even be an x as well that you're possibly thinking about but if their kind of personality doesn't match up then i don't feel like it could be one of those people but i am the, those are the letters that i'm seeing so thank you guys so so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe let me know if you like this setup i am kind of experimenting a little bit at the moment so let me know if you like it and i hope you have a lovely day I, all my private readings are down below uh please follow me on my instagram i have two instagrams now one of my instagrams are specifically just for private for sorry for picker cards and the other one is more my personal account but both are equally as good okay <laughs> not to vein myself up or anything but both have um just spiritual content okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two with the rose quartz let's see what you guys have for your marriage also this crystal is so gorgeous but if you can see all like the lines within this crystal that's so pretty i don't know if you guys can see but there's so many little kind of elements in it i really love that so i do definitely feel like your relationship is going to have a lot of different elements in it so let's start off with the astrology and see what card we have. Did I only pull one card? Oh no, I pulled two. Okay, so we have Neptune, dreams, that's so gorgeous. 
this is all about imagination, memories, subconscious, and we also have Uranus. So that's so interesting because we don't have like another star sign. So it's definitely going to be a very intense relationship. It's going to be something that's really got a lot of substance to it. And this is making me feel like it possibly could be a twin frame relationship, or it could be a relationship where you both are very, 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 very similar. <laughs> okay. And we also have the fish here. So it could be with a Pisces also. So... The fact that this is about dreams and revolution, I definitely feel like your dreams are going to be coming true, okay? You're going to have an ultimate revelation with your dreams. And with the fact that this is universal love as well, you could be even getting um, together with somebody who is not really your type or not someone you would really expect yourself to be with. But you, it's like really magical and really kind of beautiful and just so expansive and really original. You know, it's definitely going to be somebody that you haven't met yet. I do definitely feel like it's definitely going to be somebody you haven't met yet. And possibly somebody that you may not even realise that you could be with. But you actually get on extremely, extremely well. So let's see what else we have. We have change, lovely. And we also have compassion those two are really really nice together i feel like every card is basically like suiting each other almost like twins um and let's see what else we have so from the animal spirit deck we have trust in divine detours i actually read that as trust in divine timing so also trust in divine timing as well the miracles are endless and nothing is wasted so i'm going to have a look at these cards first and then we're going to move on to the next set so for you guys, this is basically showing me that there's going to be a really good change in your life. When this person comes in, things are going to start changing and it's going to be really, really positive. You're going to have lots of positive changes coming towards you. It's always going to be like this person is going to help you to manifest more things because you're in like an element of like, un I'm hearing undefining love, unconditional love. So there's not going to be any barriers between your love with each other. You know, you're both going to feel equally as compassionate towards each other and comfortable. So we also have trust in divine detours. So if you feel like you are and you're stuck, you're not in a good place, you're not in somewhere that, where you are, you don't want to be. I do know if you feel like that that is actually something that you need to trust because you may actually end up somewhere completely different in your life and it will end up that's how you meet this person. OK, so if things feel really confusing and I feel like the word unwanted or overwhelming or even underwhelming, you know, things may be feeling like, why is nothing moving, things like that, then that's actually a really good thing because it's telling you to almost push you out of something that you don't want to be in anymore or it's going to push you out of somewhere that you're not meant to be so you can be with this person, okay? I love, I love, love, love this. We have 15 and 16 and we have the miracles are endless. So it's almost like, as I said, because this is happening, this is meant to happen and it's going to be a miracle that this is happening, okay? It's always going to be like serendipity, you know? Definitely going to be serendipitous. Nothing is wasted with this person also. So both of you are people who don't like to waste time. You know, you may even have, that may even be your downfall because you possibly rush things or you think that things need to be done like straight away. But I definitely feel like you guys are really going to be, um, it's almost going to be like you're both going to learn from each other and you're both going to understand like, look, I like to rush things. You both like to rush things. You always think, hmm, because you're both reflecting each other, you're going to think actually that might not be the way to do things. And you're going to be very compassionate towards each other, you know, it's going to be a really lovely relationship, very compassionate. And with this nothing is wasted, this is almost making me feel like with any sort of drama, any kind of things that are happening that don't feel good in your life, that that is meant to happen so you can be aligned to the place where you're meant to be so you can meet this this person okay and you could have had lots of people who have basically i'm hearing ruined your life or could have made you feel like your life is ruined and it's not worth living anymore you know things like that really really like negative feelings very like almost depressing feelings and basically they're telling me that nothing is wasted you know it makes you feel like look it's it's going to be okay you know and it's making you feel like with this cow and the flowers it's almost like you don't normally see flowers on cows, you know, that's not a normal thing that you see. And it's almost like, yeah, okay, once in a lifetime, you probably see that, you know, it's very, very random. And that's basically what it is. It's almost like a miracle is going to happen. And you're thinking that would never, ever happen to me. That never happened. I'm also hearing a shopping center, shopping mall, that sort of thing. So you could meet someone in a shopping mall, could be working there also, um, and you meet this person, or you could like ask for help and then they help you and then you meet and it's like beautiful and sunny and you're like, wow. Could also be, a, I'm getting a friend who you know works at a mall and they introduce you to one of their friends and then that's basically how it, and basically snowballs from there in a good way. So we have creative expression, which is so stunning. So very, very creative relationship. Um, I definitely get that Pisces energy there as well. 
vitality and we also have time to decide make a decision based on your heart's true desire so this person is going to help you to decide a certain thing i feel like they're going to almost change you in a way where you're i feel like this group may be a little bit stubborn okay <laughs> i'm getting stubborn vibes from this this the person that's watching this video so i definitely feel like you may think nope don't want to be this person yuck ill trash <laughs> you know complete trash ultimate trash but it's like you're going to be you might actually make a decision and think actually I'm, i really want to be with this person and then they just bring they're going to bring so much loveliness into your life and you may even meet this person through a creative expression it could be a hobby a job it's very creative that sort of thing and it could be a new creative expression it could be something newly that you're going into that's very creative and you meet this person through that okay wow this is gorgeous so we have the king of wands and the ace of swords so very very strong confident relationship aries sag um leo wow that like completely went over my head aries sag leo and pisces i'm really feeling this um is this the coyote yes the coyote spirit really makes me feel like fire energy here as well um i feel like fire with a mix of water so you could be a fire sign they could be a water sign or kind of either or um, and if you're getting the leo vibe here as well with the lion and the gecko so lots of kind of fiery animals um and leos are leaders as well like leos um sorry not leos well leos as well but like aries is the leader of the zodiac and we also have lions which are very very strong characters there's somebody who's going to be very strong you're not gonna pass the person's not going to pass you by you're, like you're going to understand them as soon as you meet them and it's going to be <clears throat> excuse me so freaking stunning i love it i love 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 it so what else do we need to say oh there's going to be a lot of communication between you two communication is going to be on point it's going to be absolutely stunning it's going to be really really good i love this so much very very confident very very gorgeous relationship very mature as well for some of you guys i feel like this person gonna be about two to five years older than you i feel like i'm getting that intuitively i'm also getting under six so i'm going to say two to six years older than you roughly in that could even be 10 years but i'm feeling more two to six but they're definitely older than you i feel like the person's very mature and i feel like you're very mature too could be two old souls together or you're more of the old soul but they're also very mature so let's see what your lucky number is and what numbers to look out for when meeting this person Number four, that is perfect. So somebody who's very, very stable. Somebody who is very, very content with their life when you meet this person. So you may be going through a really weird time and they're going to be going through like an amazing time and you're going to be like, how are you so positive? And then it's going to almost just shift, shift your energy to a new energy, okay? So we're going to have a look into the Astro Dice and then we're going to pick some letters from the little cauldron over there. So let's see, what can we see from this person? What do we need to know? Beautiful. So we have the sixth house in Cancerian with Mercury. So the fact that we have Cancerian and we also have Mercury is a really, really good combination. Like Mercury Cancerians talk a lot. You're going to have really, really good communication, very clear, very substantial and very amazing. And with the sixth house, it's all about to do with kind of um, career and kind of day to day tasks. And the people with Cancerian in um, their sixth house is all to do with them understanding how to feel comfortable within doing normal tasks and feeling enjoyable with doing that okay so let's see what left we have we have v n and c okay so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it please subscribe down below if you would like to don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and private readings are down below with my new instagram that i have put up it's all about pick a cards and tarot and i'll speak to you very soon much love Bye. Hello group number three, let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous amethyst, this is all about your third eye, your crown chakra, a very spiritual, I feel like it's going to be a very spiritual relationship. So let's see who you will marry. We have Chiron, healing, healing powers, growth, softness, diversity, and we have Pluto, gorgeous, oh my god, this is going to be a very strong relationship. This marriage is going to be such a gorgeous marriage, okay. So I'm getting so many different intuitive hits. I feel like you guys are really going to be absolutely going through a um, gorgeous, gorgeous change. I love that we have like growth and we also have renewal. Like this is, these are pretty much the same, you know? I feel like Chiron is a little bit more kind of deeper, but this Pluto energy is more expansive, you know? It's almost like emotions and then this is kind of like experience. So with that in mind, it's basically saying that this relationship is going to be very, very spiritual.
very very transformative completely different to what you've ever had and it's going to be feel really really cleansing and i feel like for you guys it's going to be a relationship that you never thought you would have it could be also a very strong relationship where you possibly feel like you could never have it because maybe you weren't allowed to be with this person or maybe you weren't allowed to kind of experience this sort of thing because possibly your parents maybe told you you can't go out with that sort of person or you can't have that religion or you can't go out with somebody with a certain religion because it's basically about taboos pluto so it could also be about expressing your sexuality about expressing who you are sexually or who you are as a person maybe you weren't allowed to express that and therefore it was hard to attract somebody in this person is going to really open you up and open you up almost like a flower and help you to really embrace who you are this is so stunning i feel like you're going to reconnect other crystals as well and possibly the flower lily is going to be very very um important to you because we have these flowers here of the lilies okay i'm pretty sure they're lilies pretty sure okay i love that gorgeous so it's a beautiful start so let's see what else we have in terms of this marriage we have perseverance so if you guys you possibly feel like you're never going to get married you may feel like you're never going to get into a relationship i'm never going to feel what i want to feel you know but that is so not true that is def it's definitely going to happen for you guys oh my god deep dive exactly so it's definitely gonna be a very very deep relationship for sure for sure for sure inner power exactly that's exactly what this is all coming towards it's basically all about inner power inner, inner power <laughs> inner power oneness 44 so four is definitely your number guys definitely we also have books and then from the tarot we have the page of pentacles the moon and the seven of wands so as i say it could be a relationship that you never thought you'd have okay you possibly have gone through quite a few people who were not good for you quite a few people who were possibly really bad for you or you possibly never realized how bad they were for you and you could have been fighting off people who were basically i feel like your heart has been closed off for quite a while okay um, and this marriage is really going to open you up. It's going to be a relationship, a marriage that's going to be so strong and a really strong unity. It's going to be a very deep, intimate relationship. I'm getting like proper strong Scorpio vibes from this reading, like proper strong, deep vibes. Any any sign that's proper deep, I mean, the deepest sign I reckon is basically Scorpio. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, <laughs> like being vain about my star sign, but Scorpios are extremely deep. They're extremely intuitive um so you could end up with a scorpio okay uh, we're also going to look into this a little bit further it doesn't have to be a scorpio but they could have very strong scorpio traits it could also just be a very very deep person and this person is also going to bring out your inner power that you both are going to be very very equal on your inner power and this person really really likes books they love knowledge they love self-expression in terms of books so they'll probably look up a lot of self-help books you know and that sort of thing that possibly could be you also i'm getting the word the secret so they might be looking into the secret as like a way to manifest to you and you're doing it for them and it's like oh so cute it's like a serendipitous moment um the page of pentacles is showing me that this person could be well off in money or you both could start a business together it's also showing me that your money's going to really improve when you meet this person or you could meet this person at a job oneness is really like these two cards are so gorgeous the fact we've got four repeated twice we've got four four and four it's just like wow okay guys it's very stable relationship very very concrete very long lasting as well and oneness is so gorgeous it's like both of you are going to have such a gorgeous spiritual relationship i'm hearing karmic relationship but it feels almost like when i say karmic i don't mean that like you had to have this for a reason yes for a reason but mainly not in a bad way it's like you are meant to meet each other you know you were meant to meet each other very very spiritual very very mature just wow like, this is so stunning um also i'm fe i'm feeling a little bit of earth a little bit of a uh, uh, water sign as well as i said uh but we do have fire water and earth here so it could be various different signs but i am picking up on cancerian scorpio taurus leo aquarius pisces i'm picking up more on the fixed signs because they i feel like are more the most intense kind of raw signs um is there anything else here also there with a deep dive i do feel like swans make for life so i do feel like you guys obviously are going to be there for life i definitely feel like oh, i felt that as soon as i saw these two cards i was like whoa strong relationship i also feel like you guys are really influenced by pluto's transits 
and you, the person that you're connected to could also be influenced by Pluto's transits and also the moon like the moon transits will really really affect you and also this person and as I said we have, this kind of looks like the moon I don't know if this, this is the moon could be Chiron I'm not sure if actually Chiron is a planet but this is basically showing me that the moon is really going to affect your relationship we also have the moon here as well so it's a very like beautiful relationship I keep hearing karmic so it's just not and not in a bad way that's what I'm saying I don't mean karmic as the usual what karmic would normally mean it's like it's beautiful my throat is really hurting so it's just so like open and I'm hearing the words um I'm not going to say what I'm actually hearing because I'm not sure <laughs> I also obviously want you guys to be of age when I say this so I'm not going to say it but it is let's just say it is quite sexual it's a sexual word and it includes doing like intense things to each other okay so I definitely feel that for you guys um that you could be doing that with your partner when you actually are married to each other so well let's see what your number is let's see what number could be coming in for you guys what number should you look out for in meeting this person I definitely feel like number four and we have number five here as well okay so let's see uh in the astro dive to see what comes up for you guys in this marriage I'm very excited to see what comes up here okay so we have Taurus we have the third house and we also have the uh south node so what i find so funny is taurus the opposite to taurus is scorpio okay and both of them are fixed signs and also i did mention scorpio earlier i think that's so interesting this is why i freaking love tarot um the fact that we have the south node in taurus means that your north node will be in scorpio and scorpio is as i say all about intensity it's all about finding power in your emotions it's all about focusing your energy on exploring and transforming. So I definitely feel like this relationship is going to be so freaking gorgeous and yummy and intense and sexual. And I really, really love that. That is so, so gorgeous. And the third house in astrology is all about um, study. It's all about heroism, prowess, courage and firmness. Okay, so the fact that we have that with books is definitely going to be a person who is very... They're very set in their ways, but it, they make they, they complete things really, really like they complete things to a T. You know, they don't go into things and then they forget it and then they kind of move on to something else. They're somebody who completes things, who goes full on head first. You know, like a bull, like Taurus, they full on go for it. So this person's going to be even possibly a Taurus. As I say, I've, I also mentioned Taurus also. So definitely going to be a fixed sign. I feel like this person. Um, but if not, you could be also a fixed sign. So it's just. Generally, I feel like for you guys, you're going to mesh super, super well together. Um, I don't think fixed signs really go well together in terms of this relationship, especially. I'm feeling, I don't feel like they're going to go well together. So if you are a fixed sign, I don't see you being with another fixed sign. But I mean, maybe, I mean, not every, every different start of sign is different. So obviously I'm not going to tie everything with the same brush. Um, but if you are a Scorpio, you most likely will meet somebody who is more fluid um, and more emotional, but it doesn't have to be a thick sign. I definitely feel like you're going to meet someone who's just very, very deep, very, very emotional. I also feel like an inspirational speaker as well. I definitely feel that for you guys. So let's see what letters we have. Well, we have quite a few letters. So we have A, H, Q. We also have Y, V and n i really love this because it says yeah <laughs> yes um this could also be like nah so you may think nah i don't really want this person it'll go away especially if you're a fixed sign i feel like you're gonna be like ew no Blech. because i feel like you're it's almost gonna reflect back to you who you are <laughs> um this is really making me feel like this group is very connected to myself because i'm a scorpio it's just really giving me those scorpio vibes um really gorgeous um is there anything else here that i need to say you the, i'm hearing the word quebec so i'm not sure where, where that is i am not great at geography but i am hearing quebec um and, the, and queen so you could be from england as well like myself um that was a peace sign by the way i'm not swearing at you guys uh yeah queen could be queen victoria as well funny enough my name's victoria this is so weird um <laughs> yeah i definitely feel like that could be a name a state a country that sort of thing uh, i feel like i want to pull just a couple more letters for you guys i'm really being connected to this group i'm hearing the words hair bands so i'm not sure if you guys like to do with hair bands i'm not sure i've got a j t and c <laughs> right if justin timberlake i don't know why um justin timberlake i don't know um yeah i love this i love this so much could be a cat as well like they could have a cat or you could like cats 
that sort of thing. Is there anything else? Or they could have a tan. Could have a slight tan. Um, yeah. Or like the name Han, like Hannah, um, or another a different name, like a guy's name. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. I'm actually going to pull you guys a numerology card as well because I really feel drawn to do that. So let's pull you guys a marriage card for your numerology. Let's see. What wants to come through for this lovely, intense, yummy marriage? Pride. Okay, well, that just basically sums it up. <laughs> because Tauruses, I feel like, are the most prideful and we also have adventure. So you guys are literally going to be pushed into this so strongly. Um, and you're going to be really kind of connecting with your adventure. And it's almost going to push you to just get away from your pride and be like, look, bitch, just get out of it. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. Come on, you can connect, you can be together. Absolutely amazing. We also have five here as well. And ten, not one and nine, is ten. So completion. Absolutely gorgeous. Oneness, gorgeous. I feel like this, this ten and oneness are very, very connected as well. And it's number eight as well with 44. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, this is also reminding me of Channing Tatum. Um, or chants like a chance um, or chant you guys could like want to chant with each other I never realized that I never saw that before so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number four let's see what your marriage is like we have the blue gold stone I'm pretty sure this is it's like so stunning. I want to show you guys up close because it looks like the night sky. Pretty. Also, if you can see my hands are wrinkly, it's because I just had a shower. So my hands like I'm a bit, are really, really wrinkly. <laughs> so just ignore that. Okay, so let's see what your astrology cards say. We have sextile and we have the first house. Gorgeous. So this is going to be a very leadership-like relationship. Very, very... It's going to awaken yourself. It's going to help you to understand yourself more. Um, it's going to help you to also understand the the way you see yourself, the way you express yourself. It's going to be a gateway to various new opportunities for you, okay? So both of you are going to be really, really good at communicating and collaborating, okay? So you could actually be collaborating on projects. You could be collaborating in work. You could actually be like together uh, as a job. Um, also, this is about developing, so you could be developing um, your relationship with each other in terms of the way you see yourself is going to be developed um, and you're going to be developing yourself um, as you go through this. And I feel like with these snowflakes, I've recently heard that everyone is like a snowflake. You know, they're all different. So I really feel like you're going to help to, this, this marriage is going to help to embrace yourself. And it's also, um, it possibly may feel a little bit cold at first because you think maybe this isn't the right thing to do, maybe this isn't the right marriage to go into, and you may feel like, oh, I don't know, and you're gonna be able to show your true colors, but it's gonna be amazing, guys. I feel like we're just gonna be worrying too much about it, but I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Could also bond over Frozen, I'm feeling like, um, or Disney, uh, or you could be um, meeting in winter and or, you know, and also I feel like you could actually be bonding over films, especially because we have the Emerald City, so you could be bonding over like the Wizard of Oz or something like that. Okay, and they've also got doors. I never, I didn't, I only just realized that we've got doors and a window, like open door and open window. So it's gonna be like welcoming you into this marriage. Like it's gonna be so stunning. And you're both gonna be building a house together, definitely. I definitely feel that. It could even be both be artists, both be painters, both be creative people. Um, there's something else. Yeah, definitely feel like doors are, and win like, doors are gonna be opening for you and windows. <laughs> Okay, it's so funny because I literally just had my door open a little bit when I said doors opening, so that's really, really weird and really cool. So, let's see what else we have here. So, we have environment. What did I just say? Doors, windows. <laughs> that's so good, I love that. 44, amazing. So, I definitely feel like it's a strong foundational energy here. Very, very gorgeous. We have be at home. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> this is crazy. So, I definitely feel like your home is gonna be really, really important for your marriage like so important you could even be both be working from home positive expectations i love that so extremely positive relationship absolutely stunning love 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 this so we have resistance number five unfolding number two and pleasure number nine okay so i'm gonna look into these in just a second and then i'm gonna 
look at these first and then look into those in just a second so with this unfolding and environment it's definitely showing me that you possibly could be moving house for the first time with this person like it could be the first time you ever move house um i'm 333 on the clock as well so that's definitely uh your numbers i feel like four three five nine very strong numbers for you guys um you could be resisting this marriage at first as i said it could be a feeling a little bit cold for some reason um, or it could be like you feel cold, like you don't not I mean maybe physically cold because um, it may be winter, but I definitely feel like you've possibly been let down quite a few times. So I definitely feel like things are going to be shifting and changing for you and my ear just went deaf and the other ear is ringing. So I definitely, it's definitely, definitely, definitely guides around you. Okay. So with the resistance and unfolding, there's definitely going to be an element of someone clicking into gear so your mind's going to be clicking into gear when you meet this person so it's always going to be like tick 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 oh my god i think they're the person i'm going to be married to like when you meet this person it's going to be like holy crap i think i'm going to be married to this person um and things are going to be unfolding in a really interesting way and they're telling me like an interesting sexy way which kind of makes me feel like when i say sexy i don't literally mean that um i mean like it's going to feel extremely fun and pleasurable to you like it's gonna feel like really easy and smooth and just warm and lovely very pleasurable and as i say your home is very like strong i definitely feel like that cancerian vibes here for through and through this is like so gorgeous and number four is all about the home it literally is all about home so i freaking love that so let's see what else we have children beautiful that is such cancerian energy right there um all about children all about loving and caring and just you could want to have children like children are going to be like your main focus it could be you work with children and that's how you meet that sort of thing it could be so many various different energies around children so you could take this as this resonates and if i haven't actually said a certain thing that resonates to any of these cards and just take it as it resonates and you know use your own intuition to determine your cards yourself also oh my god oh my god <laughs> wow so ten of cups um hello and we also have the strength card so this is leo energy here so i definitely feel like there's some possibly a fire or water energy for this group i am feeling earth as well not so much air um but it feels like just really cozy strong uh also if i'm not mentioning your particular star sign don't worry about it guys just just kind of take it as it resonates um but with a strength card what's this what's this about what are you telling me with strength card like you similar to group number three you could be quite stubborn and you could not want to be in this marriage or you could not want to be married at first or one of you could not want to be married and then it's like you just get used to each other and it's amazing and i'm really looking at that infinity sign so it's almost like you're just meant to be with each other this ten of cups is just ultimate fulfillment like that is just through and through absolutely stunning gorgeous um the saying p and p and i don't know what that is it could be both your names like peter and paula i don't know something like that it could be a company name it could be yeah i'm just seeing p and p and it's like in, uh, like a calligraphy kind of posh writing i feel like it could be like an expensive jewelry brand as well i've no idea why i'm getting this but you take it as it resonates go i'm also hearing snowman and we did say that frozen earlier so i definitely feel like that's winter's going to be very prominent for you guys you could also meet in the winter or you could meet at a place that's like to do winter so it could be like a like a switzerland in the in the winter where it's like a ski resort something like that very random but it's just so serendipitous it's not going to be random okay so let's see what number to look out for also i do definitely feel like the numbers i've already mentioned are the numbers you really should look out for as well okay so number four as i said i literally act i accidentally rolled number six and this is obviously meant to, i was meant to obviously roll second time with number four exactly number four is definitely your number guys so definitely positive i love this this is so sexual as well like i love it it's just like ultimate fulfillment i definitely feel like both of you guys are really wanting children and possibly a lot of kids or you just really want children like it's on your mind all the time could even be on your mind now okay you guys so this is the fifth house with pluto in aries so when pluto is in aries um aries people feel that they have a higher calling and they often rush to find it okay so it's definitely some uh relationship that's very very expansive it's going to be a relationship that's all about improving yourself and it could also mean that you are going to meet an aries you could be an aries sun it could even be aries pluto but it can also be aries in a different um part of the birth chart and i really do feel like for you guys it's definitely i say definitely going to be a very very expansive relationship 
it's going to be a very mature relationship as well and it's going to be a part of your uh life with this marriage it's going to be very kind of it's when you guys are really going to be understanding each other and understanding yourself this person is really going to help you to understand yourself so with a fifth house in aries it's also someone who loves to win and feels good as they find the time to commit to an energizing activity very very energetic really really love that so i also feel like this is a love for the self um and it's in is the most important thing with this position if individuals born with it want to find happiness, they always have to search for it within with no regard to the outer world or other people. So as I say, it's definitely about the self and first house is all about the self. So, and this is the first sign in the zodiac. This is all about the leader. And so it's a very strong self relationship. Like you guys are really going to work on yourself before you get into this marriage. Um, and it's going to be very, very unique and equal. And you both understand each other at a very deep level. Okay. I really want to pull another card from the career, which... I feel like it's a very Aries trait actually with career, but because I think our Aries are very career focused. Well, okay. Yep, school. There you go. So you guys can meet at school. You can meet them at college, university. Oh my god, creative expression. As I said, yep, very creative, as I said. Um and also, yeah, definitely somebody who likes learning. And last literally I think it's the third pile as well, had books. So if you don't connect with this reading or you want to learn a little bit more about this person I feel like go watch number three because I really feel like number three is really going to resonate with you and this school energy is really money you could actually meet somebody at school you could like work in a school or something like that so let's have a look at the little magic cauldron and see what letters we have pour a nice chunk of them so we have M A B T Z H C so you could also have a cat. We have the lion here as well. So it could be a Leo and also we have strength. Um, it could be a name as well. And it could be a country. It can be something to do with this relationship in a very, very strong way. I'm going to pull a couple more out. Pull one more out. P as well. So I'm not sure why we have Pat, but it could be a name like Patrick or Patricia. Um... Oh, Matt, I'm getting literally all of the, all of the words. Matt, hat. <laughs> um, I think that's it, guys. At somewhere. Could meet at a certain place, at a school, you know, university. I feel like you could also meet through your children. If you have children, you could also meet through your, ch through your child's friends, parents, you know. Like you could, like one of your child's friends, dads could be really hot or, or one of their mums could be really hot, something like that. Um, but that's obviously, that's only for a few of you. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe. If you like a private reading, then please um, let me know down below. Uh, all the information for my private readings is down below. And I also have another Instagram, which is all dedicated to pick a cards and tarot. So if you'd like to uh, follow that then that is down below I also want to do you a little crystal recommendation I didn't do this for any of the other groups but I feel drawn to do it for this group so let's do that right now see a little bit more about this group, this group here and see what else we need to know about their marriage okay right we have of course we have business to do with Aries yup business Sacral chakra, definitely going to meet this person through business. I feel like, or you're, or you're going to be have a, a really good business partnership. Travel, yeah, exactly. So, this is also going to be somebody who loves to travel. You both have to travel. You could be traveling for work. And I feel like you're going to be though that couple who has who travels for a job and they have like an amazing Instagram. Like they just have gorgeous photos on the Instagram where they travel and everything, and it's just going to be so amazing. This, could, this person could also help you take photos of yourself you know like for outfits or you know like that, that instagram or you know wherever i'm a photographer guys i'm not just saying talking about instagram I'm talking about just you know helps you take good photos all right <laughs> okay so thank you for watching guys and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye